about a week ago, I put out part one of a two-part series, Mining Experiment, Large Mining Pool versus Small Mining Pool. Today, I'm going to go through part two, which is the results. So in the first video, I talked about all the people on the forums and all over the place that were very insistent upon the fact that you had to mine on a large pool. Obviously, there's some people out there that thought otherwise, and they specifically mine to smaller pools. So in other words, on a large mining pool, if you have a given amount of hash power, and you're, let's say, 20, 30 down on the list of top miners for that pool, you're going to get a lot of payouts over a given period of time because that pool hits more blocks than, let's say, a smaller pool would in a given period of time just based upon the hash power. But the amount of tokens or coins that you're going to get is going to be much smaller per payout. Now, in a small mining pool, the mindset is there's less miners, there's less hash power, but when you do hit a block, your payout will be larger. So I wanted to do my own experiment, one week long, a piece, one week mining the same coin on two different pools. And as you can probably already see at the top of my screen, what I was mining was graft. And for the first week, I mined to hashvault.pro. And before uh, before I get too deeply into this, I, I do want to note, I have mined to these two different pools, uh, which the second one I'm about to tell you, but both of the pools were incredibly solid, okay? So this is not a bash, this is not um, a critique to any pool, this was simply can I beat the math or what does the math look like when you mine for the same exact amount of time and the same amount of hash power with relatively the same difficulty and hash rate on the network? What does that math look like? Are you better off mining to a smaller pool or a larger pool? So back to my example, the first week I mined to hashvault.pro. Now, when I first started this uh, personal challenge or this personal experiment, I tried to find a pool with absolutely nobody on it. And the pool that I first started out on uh, now has people on it. Uh, I'm not going to mention that pool's name because, again, I'm not trying to bash any pool. Uh, but I did have issues on that pool. Lots of dropouts uh, and a lot of issues. So I don't want to call those folks out. Um, not in this video. They could have had issues. It could have been a genuine, you know, a, a genuine issue that just happened to happen uh, during the time that I was trying to mine to the pool. But I realized really quickly after the first 24 hours, and I did hit one block, uh, there was one other person that joined the fray while I was mining to it. Uh, and I actually got about half the block reward um, for my effort over the 24 hours. It was only about 700 graft, so it wasn't going to uh, compare to my time on Hash Vault Pro, which we'll go through the numbers in just a moment. It was neat to see a 700-something uh, coin payout, which I normally don't get. So the second pool that I moved to uh, with very little hash power, it had three people on it at the time or three other workers on it. Uh, unfortunately, it had issues too. Uh, I was on it for about 12 hours and it was down for six of those. So I had to make the difficult choice to pull off and go to a pool, another pool that had only about 30 folks on it at the time and that was graft.community pool uh, for, for the graft coin. Uh, when I first started there was about 130 kilohash on it uh, and 
as the week progressed, the hash rate increased and a few more folks got on. Uh, so more hash power came on. But uh, I still think it represents a, a good contrast between a very high 7.39 to 8 is what uh, HashVault.pro has been around uh, for the hash rate down to 350 uh, now pretty much at its peak at the end of the week. Um, I still think it's a good contrast, so I still, still think we can draw some really good results here. So let's look at it. So the first thing I want to go over is one of, one of the comments on part one were, was that um, the gentleman thought that it wouldn't be a very fair test uh, unless I split the hash power um, on two different pools uh, over the same given period of time. Although I definitely agree that uh, from a network difficulty standpoint, that would be probably a lot more scientific than the way I did this. I basically mined one week to hash vault and then the next week to the graft community pool. Okay, so one week and two, uh, the second week, um, if you look back to, let's see, it's the 25th today. So around the 10th, uh, we can start looking at the difficulty here. And if I go to Hash Vault, we can see that the network difficulty has been fairly static. Now, uh, when I say static, I mean within, from a hash power standpoint, which is the a big determining factor of the difficulty, the hash rate has been between 18, might have touched 17 here a little bit, and 22 for almost the past month. So again, not very scientific, but I did want to put that out there. The lowest the hash rate I've seen is 17 something. Okay, so it has been fairly, um, fairly static. 16.3, 16.35, that's the lowest I've seen it in two weeks. Um, so I definitely need to be mining graft right now because the difficulty is probably lower. All right, but from a hash power standpoint, it's been roughly the same. From a difficulty standpoint, it's been fairly static. So look at 30 days it's been fairly static. There's been a couple little dips and little pumps here, but it's been fairly static, okay? So I feel like I've got enough valid evidence uh, over the two week period, uh, one week on community pool and one week on hash vault uh, to draw this conclusion. So essentially what I did guys is I went back and looked at, added up painstakingly, <laughs> added up all of my payouts for the seven day period, seven day period here on hash vault. And then for the seven day period here on uh, graph.community pool. Okay. And then I came up with this. So I got my dailies, and as you can see, um, I rounded up. I ended up rounding up to um, the highest number, okay? So this was probably 17, uh, 14 uh, point nine something. I just rounded up to 17, 15, just to make the math easier, uh, just so it was easier to look at. You can see my top day was 17.15 uh, for a total for the week of 9,813 graft coins on Hash Vault. And this is the top hash power pool currently on the graph network. And at the time I was mining, it was around 8 mega hashes. Okay, so it's dropped just a little bit. But as you can see, there's over 50% of the hash rate on here. Now, for the second one, the second week, I went to 
the community pool or pool.graft.community and here are my numbers my daily numbers again I went through and added all of these up as it shows and I rounded the numbers okay so 9,813 on Hashvault and 10,581 on pool.graft.community. Now, as you can see, there's far less, ha less hash power on this particular pool. Um, I would have liked to have done this on um, a pool with only one or two miners on it or some, some, some really small amount. It just, the two pools that I tried it on uh, completely failed on me. And I wanted to have an accurate or at least a, a semi-accurate total here for you guys for this second video. But as you can see, there is a little bit of extra coins here on the smaller pool. Now, the interesting thing that I want to tell you guys is I had six hours, approximately six hours of downtime on this day number five. I had eight hours on day number two. I lost internet connection uh, at my home at night and all the rigs went offline. So when I woke up, I ate my breakfast, I drank my coffee, uh, I got ready for work, and I just happened to look at it, and all of my rigs were offline. So I had eight hours of missed time here. So if you look at it, eight hours out of a 24-hour period, um, I've lost roughly 30, 33%, right? So if we go to my lowest day, about 1200 if we're doing the math anywhere in the ballpark um, that's about 400 coins four to five hundred coins that I lost on this day and I'm gonna assume about 350 to 400 coins on this day I'm sorry this day that I lost this day was bad I don't know <laughs> I don't know what happened here, uh, but I, I didn't mine a whole lot of coins there. Day seven, uh, that was a half a day. That was when I actually turned it off because I actually started the process around 3 p.m., okay? Uh, so a little less than half a day of mining. But as you can see, if I would have had full uptime, 100% uptime, like I had with Hash Vault when I was mining the Hash Vault, I could have had, you know, a, a, over 11,000 coins. To me, with a fairly static difficulty level on the network, a fairly static um, hash rate on the network, I kind of feel that this looks like the more attractive, uh, more attractive pool at this time. Now, I would like to keep my miners on this pool and do the math for a little bit longer but when I actually put this together earlier in the day I was kind of shocked to see these numbers I was assuming because of the calculator well that's another thing I want to talk about the calculator on these websites uh, guys it, it, they generally error high so I was told by the calculator that I should be getting 1800 to 1900 coins a day that's not what was happening. The actual payout was much lower. Most of you guys probably already know that, but it is, um, you know, of substance to note that you got to be careful. Even the calculator on the, the website that you're mining to or the pool that you're mining to is probably not accurate. The only way you can honestly see what you get over a period of time is if you do the math yourself. You actually look at what was paid out during a given period of time. So that kind of brings me to my next point. If you look, there's a significant difference in the hash power between these two pools. I had more, uh, I had less payouts on this pool, 
far less, but the sums were higher. In other words, the payouts were higher. I had a bunch of little bitty payouts when I was mining the hash vault. Now, that's nothing against hash vault. That's my um, small amount of hash power that I have had on the network, right? Nothing wrong with no, nothing wrong with hash vault. Nothing wrong with graft uh, dot community pool. Um, nothing wrong with either of those pools. Just I, I tried to do apples to oranges, okay? Uh, and I hope I illustrated the point. I hope I showed you um, that there there was, in my opinion, um, almost a 10%, 15% difference uh, over that one-week period. Now, if I were to redo it, maybe do it for a month. And the last part that I haven't mentioned yet is uh, for this test, um, I put two eight-card Vega 56 with a couple 64s thrown in. Uh, so 16 Vega 56 slash 64 cards uh, were run for this test. And if you're interested in how much graft you can mine, uh, that's kind of your benchmark. So 16 cards, uh, roughly 20,000 coins in two weeks. All right, I hope this uh, video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.